On May 11, 2022, professional cyclist Anna Mariah Mo Wilson was found dead on the floor inside the home of a friend in Austin, Texas. She was just 25 years old. She had been shot three times, twice in the head, and once in the chest. Each bullet had been fired while Wilson was already lying on the floor. Wilson had been in town for a race, and just hours before her death, she had been out swimming with her one-time romantic interest and fellow professional cyclist, Colin Strickland. After going for a swim together, the two had dinner. After that, Strickland dropped Mariah Wilson off at her friend's house. When questioned, Colin Strickland denied even knowing Wilson, but he would later admit that he had been involved with the 25-year-old. Because Colin Strickland never stepped foot inside the home where Wilson was found dead, he was promptly ruled out as a suspect. Thanks to video surveillance footage, investigators already had someone else in mind. 36-year-old Caitlin Marie Armstrong, Colin Strickland's girlfriend. Armstrong's black Jeep had been captured on camera arriving at the Austin, Texas home just moments before Mariah Wilson was murdered. Caitlin Armstrong was taken into custody. Armstrong made no statement when questioned about her Jeep arriving at the crime scene, and due to a technical mistake in the police database, she was allowed to walk free. Investigators checked Colin Strickland's phone records and discovered that Strickland had continued to be romantically involved with Wilson, despite being in a relationship with Armstrong. The cycling star would delete messages from Wilson so that Armstrong would never come across them, and he even went as far as to save Wilson in his phone under a fake name. Months before Mariah Wilson's death, Colin Strickland had purchased two 9mm handguns. One he kept for himself, the other he gave to Caitlin Armstrong. Armstrong had seemingly discovered the affair and then used a fitness app in which Wilson logged her bike rides to track down Wilson's location. To make Armstrong's eventual crime all the more disturbing, the 32-year-old had reportedly visited a shooting range before the murder and learned how to operate her newly acquired firearm. Six days after Wilson's murder, police issued a warrant for Caitlin Armstrong's arrest. She was to be charged with first-degree murder. The only problem was that by May 17, Caitlin Armstrong was already on the run. She had sold her Jeep and used the money to fund her travel to Houston, Texas. Armstrong then reportedly flew to New York before catching another plane to Costa Rica. She made it to the remote island of Santa Teresa, using her sister's passport. Armstrong then went even deeper into her hiding. She dyed her hair and underwent approximately $6,000 worth of plastic surgery to alter her appearance. Armstrong's life as a fugitive on the run in paradise didn't last long, though, as Costa Rican police found Armstrong at the hostel where she was staying and extradited her to the United States. She had managed to avoid the law for just 43 days. While in Costa Rica, Armstrong had allegedly attempted to find work teaching yoga. Given that this had been Armstrong's profession back in the United States, it helped police to track her down as a fugitive. After being arraigned, Armstrong pled not guilty. She was then held on a $3.5 million bond. While her attempt to run from justice had failed her once, she wasn't done trying. In October of 2023, with Armstrong awaiting trial, she was taken to an out-of-jail medical facility for an appointment. During this time out from jail, Armstrong attempted a prison break by running from her correction officers while at the medical facility. Armstrong managed to evade recapture for approximately 10 minutes, sprinting with her hands restrained and attempting to hop a fence. She was caught and charged with causing bodily injury. One month later, Caitlin Armstrong finally stood trial. Prosecutors shared how the gun casings found at the murder scene matched the gun belonging to Caitlin Armstrong. She continued to deny murdering Mariah Wilson. Caitlin Armstrong was found guilty and sentenced to 90 years in prison. She will be eligible for parole after 30 years. During the trial, Mariah Wilson's mother addressed the court but looked directly at Armstrong as she uttered the following words. Armstrong was seemingly spurred on by a jealous rage, though rage may not be the most fitting word to describe Armstrong's actions. The crime Armstrong committed was seemingly premeditated. A question that many have pondered since the trial is whether or not Colin Strickland is to blame at least partly for Mariah Wilson's death. It's highly unlikely that Strickland believed his girlfriend capable of such horrendous violence, though Strickland did admit to having had a tumultuous relationship with Armstrong. The two reportedly met via a dating app around three years prior to Wilson's death. It may have started off well, but the relationship was by no means stable.
During the murder trial, Colin Strickland revealed some of the bizarre controlling behavior he had been subjected to by Caitlin Armstrong. He narrated how Armstrong would keep tabs on any communications he made with other women, even going as far as having access to his emails and other personal accounts. He noted Armstrong's intense jealousy of the brief relationship that Strickland had shared with Wilson. Mariah Wilson was held up by many as an exceptional talent and one with so many years ahead of her in both her career and her personal life. Sadly, all that possibility was taken from her.